Hi, this is Ethan from Printed Village, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use arrays in Photoshop to manipulate and duplicate objects. And uh, also, in keeping with this month's woodland-themed contest, I'm going to do this using some woodland elements. Alright, so first I'm going to draw a quick little stick tree. Yeah, that, that looks awesome. That's a great tree. <laughs> and then now I'm going to hit uh, command option T because I want to make a line of these trees. I'm going to make a little forest. So holding shift to drag it out straight. I'm just going to drag out a tree and notice that it duplicates. And once you've got it where you want it, you can hit enter and then hit command option shift T. And every time you hit that, you'll generate a new tree on and on. So it saves you having to copy and drag, and it also ensures that the spacing is even between all of them. All right, so let's undo all that. All right, the second way that you can use the array tool, and this is a really useful one, is to do a radial array. So the object goes in a circle. For this one, I think I'm going to draw a wreath. So do a quick little section of a wreath. Give it a little shadow so you can see it. And then again I hit command option T and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle point and I'm going to drag it out to where I want the center of my circle to be. And then I'm going to slightly rotate this image around that so, all right, so again, hit enter, then hit command option shift T to draw your wreath. And that's again, that's way easier than, uh, than doing it by hand, and you don't have to measure all these angles. It, Photoshop does all the math for you. Okay, but you can also use any other transform option. So I'm going to combine two. I'm going to show you how to make a swirl of leaves where the size also decreases. I've got to do that on a new layer. So again, I'm just going to draw a quick little leaf. And then I hit Command, Option, T. I'm going to drag out my center point rotate it, but then this time I'm also I'm going to hold down shift and option to make sure it goes straight to the middle and I'm just going to slightly reduce the size of this leaf and then hit enter. So now when I do the array the size also decreases creating a spiral effect. Well, okay that's about it for this but um, I hope you guys find this technique useful. I know it saved me a ton of time so uh, have fun and happy designing. Thanks for watching. Bye.